Good afternoon, Tim from Tectonic TV here. Um, did a bit of a trial outside broadcast today. Uh, a bit of a different theme, and it's going to be one of a series of videos. So my thinking is, uh, in in my sort of challenge to find maybe the best value and most flexible equipment to record my videos on a regular basis, uh, I've chosen today to record this on the Nikon B700 which I think is a pretty good bridge camera, very good optical zoom on it. Not bad audio quality, so it's using the inbuilt mic to record this. Um, and then I'm gonna download that to Samsung Galaxy Note and then edit it on the Note so I can then upload it to YouTube. And then tomorrow I'm gonna make the second part of this multi-parter and record it on the Note and edit and upload and then day after that going to go with the new ipad so this is a 2018 model the non-pro one but it is the one that takes the pencil so you can still use the apple pencil with it and then edit it on there and upload from there the same and then after that i'm going to go with the gopro this is a gopro 6. in each case i'm going to use the inbuilt mic no other add-ons to it and just the gadget and wherever possible in the case of the note and the ipad edit it on there and upload from there um, obviously I'm going to have to download the footage from this one um, and from the Nikon uh, in order to edit it but we'll just see how that, that goes but in each case I'm going to try and do it not on a laptop but on a portable portable device like the, the Note um, or the iPad so that's the general thing on the background of the technology to use and to make the videos and then I've got a bit of a, a an individual device to cover um, and today's thing of interest, the latest gadget, is this little tiny monitor that I've recently purchased. Now this one has got just about every input you can imagine on the bottom bit, so everything from RCA adapters to uh, the 15 pin D-sub uh, VGA um, and um, even BNC for composite video and most importantly HDMI. And this is useful for lots of things, you can connect it to uh, the camera for example or my new Sony a6000 so that you can watch footage back on it or connect it to um, a Raspberry Pi which funny enough I've got one of those here the thinking behind this one though is a Raspberry Pi um, loaded up with a load of classic games and things like the uh, MAME and uh, SNES emulators makes a brilliant gaming family gaming machine couple that with this new D-Link power pack and you've got a totally portable Raspberry Pi attached gaming machine so we'll cover that in a little bit more detail later on so a quick rewind this is how the monitor arrives it's a 10.1 inch uh, not full HD uh, but a decent resolution uh, screen it comes in rather plain little brown box all the way from China but it does come with everything you need which is really really rather cool so i've just stuck this back on there just so you can have the effect of uh, peeling the screen protector off so it's a nice neat little screen let's say 10.1 inch uh, i've taken the stand off the back for the moment just so you can see the connectors a little easier but um as i mentioned it comes with the d sub connector so you can plug in an ordinary pc or use it as a second screen on a laptop or something similar to that it's got the HDMI port on the bottom there, and it comes with all the cables for these, including the HDMI cable. So we've got a BNC one there, typically used on like CCTV cameras. In fact, I've used it for that as well, for testing CCTV cameras out and plugging it into a small CCTV recorder. Perhaps I'll upload a separate video on that later on for you. Uh, it's also got the RCA connectors there, so you've got the video in and left and right audio in. And again, it comes with a small cable, and I'll find it here amongst all the others. Um, there you go, uh, that splits. So it's got the 3.5mm jack plug on there, which works with quite a lot of old video cameras as well. And they're sta it's a standard wiring system. And then the left and right audio and the video separated out. And the last one there, of the main connectors anyway, is the BNC connector. So I say that's often the one that comes for CCTV. So you could plug a camera directly into this if you wanted to test it. You need an adapter for the audio if it's a camera that supports audio, but uh, certainly for the video view. And I say it works really well, plugging it into both the recorder and directly a camera into, into here. 
So it's a great, very, very lightweight device that you can take around with you if you're into fitness CCTV and things like that. Um, or just in the case of me, it's useful to plug almost anything into from a Raspberry Pi, which we're going to have a little bit of footage in a minute, hopefully on that, um, to a small PC, which I'll, I'm going to do a video on that, uh, certainly when I get back home in the next sort of few days. Uh, as a small Zoo Storm PC for under £100 that comes with a Windows 10 Pro license. So um, check back for that one later on. Um, and lastly on the connectors on the bottom here, well two things actually, you've got the 12 volt power supply there and on the other side there you've got a USB port and that will support uh, a standard USB memory stick and if you've got things like mp4 files they'll play directly from that so you can you can use it just to watch back films so it does have a couple of tiny little speakers in there they're pretty poor to be fair but uh you can hear things so it, it does work but um it's nowhere near the quality of say even a galaxy note 8 speaker and that's not the best that's out there um Anyway, moving on around, um, oh yes, to go with that as well, useful. Um, it doesn't support the playback functions, but it does support volume and choosing inputs. It does come with its own little tiny remote control, a infrared remote control, and there's a sensor there down on the bottom right hand side as you're facing it. Uh, that's quite handy, you can power it on and off with it and turn the volume up and down. Let's say, but it's pretty tinny the sound. I'll try and represent that later on in the video, or if not, maybe on tomorrow's video. And um, additionally, we've got a little adapter here that um, is a small stand to go on it. So it's got a stand tripod thread there, so you could actually use this just to mount a camera on as well. But in the case of this one, uh, you spin it out, there's a little threaded nut there. You spin that right out nearly to the end, and then on the back, here. on the back of here is a little slot to slide it into, and then you can tighten it up with a little thumb screw there and then you've got a small stand which you can adjust and lock into position from the underside there I hope you can see that okay on the video it does also come with some little double-sided sticky pads I've not use this as you can see but you could attach that to if you're going to attach it to the top of a CCTV recorder perhaps or something like that or in your studio you have it permanently set up but for my use, it's just handy to um, be able to stick it wherever I want to. There's little holes there, so you could pin it down if you needed to, which you can just see on the side. Um, and it's also got standard mount for threads on the back for um, a TV bracket. But again, in my particular use for it, it's good to be able to just move it around wherever you want to. On the front, just in case you haven't got the remote with you, you can still do things like power on and off, um, up and down on the volume, access some of the menu functions for brightness and contrast and things like that and then swap between the input ports on the back so it just marks it as AV1 and AV2 but it does cycle through PC, um, composite um, and HDMI and the VGA yeah. and as I say it does come with a whole stack of connectors so virtually everything you need and all of this uh, I picked up on eBay and you can get them on Amazon as well but I picked up on eBay for £55.99 including carriage so I will link to where you can get those in the bottom of, uh, of this video. It may not be up straight away. I'm going to post the video remotely and I'll go in and, and stick some, some um, little links for you to access it. But all in all, I've been really, really pleased with it. And we'll show you some footage in a minute of the screen on. It's really nice and bright and um, certainly does the job. And when working with a Raspberry Pi, ideal little gaming machine, as I say. So thanks again for watching. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to try and record on one of the other gadgets and do a similar thing. We'll carry on and perhaps I'll show you some more of the Raspberry Pi connected to the small screen. And then you can see, um, see it in action, being used for playing games, etc. And how bright and compact the little screen is. So thanks for tuning in. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. And please, uh, somewhere down there, there'll be a subscribe button and a like button if you like it. That would be really good and see you tomorrow.